I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Okay, boy. Let's go. Good boy. Let's go, okay, boy. Good morning. Say what's up to the vlog, bro. Okay, boy. Let's go. <laughs> he looks so excited. He loves the park, man. Like the moment he sees me grab my leash, he already knows what's going on. Oh, uh oh. This is where the magic happens. Let's get that good angle. <laughs> What's up, Oki okay boy? What's up, Oki okay boy? <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. All right guys, what's up YouTube, man? It is good to see everyone, dudes. As you may notice, or maybe not, I don't know, maybe you were busy or maybe you're driving and you can't see right now, but I have a different dog with me right now. It is not my usual white small poodle, but this is my standard poodle. His name is Oki okay boy, by the way, right Oki okay boy? He will eventually become 70 pounds. He's 16 pounds right now at three months. He's gonna be huge, man. All right, but anyway, man, the reason I'm filming today is because honestly, I've been working remote for the past month already, more than a month. Um, I'll try to share as much as I can without getting in trouble, <laughs> right? But even more than that, man, what I really want to do too, and my boss actually called me out on this, and my mom, my mom was like, Chris, you need to upload. My boss was always asking me every Thursday in our one-on-one -on -one meetings, want to upload, and he suggested this idea too. And I figured, you know what? It's time for me to do a day in the life video again, but this time with a full-time remote developer. Since all of us are working remote, but when I speak with my boss, there's a good chance that this will become permanent. And by the way, if you can't tell by my surroundings, you probably can't yet, I am no longer in California. I am here here in Las Vegas now, but man, life is good. I'm back here with my family, like I said I would in my last video, which is pretty amazing. So, okay boy, I know the sun's bright, but say what's up. Bro, turn your head. <laughs> All right, let's go back to the house. I got a code, man. I gotta go back to work. I wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure Uh oh mm. I'm posting pictures Trying to be someone I'm not <sighs> Pretty much If you're watching this video You know what happened Um What I'm gonna talk about is very unfortunate and it sucks, man. But I gotta tell you, these last four years as a developer, this journey I've been on, which has been ever since I started this YouTube channel, which is pretty amazing, has been, uh, it's, it's been, it's been unbelievable. The life that I've been able to live the last four years as an independent, financially stable person because of the time and effort and sacrifice to put in the learning code and to get to where I am, I guess you could say to where I was yesterday, um, it's been totally worth it. What I've been able to learn is absolutely amazing. Before I tell you exactly what happened, and you already know, but before I get into it, well, I'll just say it, man. Yeah, I, uh, I was laid off. <laughs> a company that I was really honestly hoping that I'd stay out for a couple of years. Yeah, it sucks. I don't... <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I don't know how else to get to this topic. Like, how did you just say you got laid off? I'm just going straight into it. It sucks, man. Not just because it was like um, a dream job to be able to just move up in this industry as a developer, but the culture and the relationships that I built has been awesome, man. I'm going to miss those guys a lot. What's really interesting about the day I got laid off, by the way, is that that day, I was actually filming a day in the life of a remote developer. That day I was filming that. I was filming what a day in the life a developer would be like. And <laughs> like literally, like I'm gonna show you a time lapse right now. But during these two time lapses I recorded, I was setting up my camera because usually on this day, Thursday morning, 
I actually have a one-to-one -one video meeting with my boss, the CTO, Jake. And during the one-to-ones, we usually go through the tickets I went through, how I'm doing, uh, what I'm struggling with, what I might need help with. Sometimes I go over my code and help me with things that I am having a hard time creating or solving or help clarify things that I don't understand yet because they were actually transitioning me to help me actually do more things in regards to backend development, which is nice, working with databases, working with our CMS, which is pretty cool. But he actually didn't show up to the meeting that morning. And I was a little weirded out by that, right? And the first thing that came to my mind was, maybe I'm gonna get laid off. I didn't want to believe that because literally the Monday of the week before that, right? The Monday prior to that week, prior to this week, last Monday, we had a meeting with our boss. He, he told us like straight off the bat, you know, he had a meeting with the big guy, Bill, and uh, who's like the, I think he's like the vice president or someone, whatever. Um, and he, he said to tell us that we got two big campaigns coming. We seem like we're doing well now. We have this new insider plan that we launched where you don't see any more ads on our website no more if you pay five bucks a month. A lot of people are signing up, which is great. So many good news. And then he said that, you know, we just want, uh, want everyone to know that um, we don't see any more people getting laid off for the foreseeable future, or at least for a while now. And when you hear that, you're thinking, all right, so that probably means maybe a couple months, at least, hopefully things go well, um, or hopefully for the rest of the year, because why would you tell your employees that during COVID-19, right? So like I bought these headphones because I want to be able to like, you know, focus, I work that much more better. And now I was starting to code like 10 hours a day or sometimes I work 12 hours straight, no one told me to, but I just really enjoyed what I was doing at the company, man. I loved what I did for a living, especially what I was doing there, right? Um, but yeah, so anyway, back to the story. Since there was nothing else to do, I decided to take a nap that day. Um, this was Thursday, by the way. Took like a 45 minute nap. Woke up to message from my boss asking if he could meet for a couple minutes. And I was like, oh shoot, my bad. And I figured he wanted to meet at that time because we didn't have our our one-on-one -on -one meeting that morning, right? And so I, I tell him, sorry, my bad. I was away from the computer, I was taking a nap. And then he said, all right, we'll be on in 10 minutes. And so he sends me a link and I go and I, I click on the link. It's Google Chat. When you when you go on a video chat conference call, and you click on the link, and before you actually enter it, after you click on the link, you're able to see who's actually in the chat room, and then you can configure your video settings and your audio settings. And what I noticed was that it wasn't just my boss in the chat room, and I saw it was also our lawyer. And right when I saw that, right before I even clicked join to officially join the video, I I immediately knew, right, that it was it. So I go in there. My boss uh, immediately says, Chris, we have some bad news to tell you. Uh, and right when he said that, yeah, um, my heart completely sunk because I knew it was coming already. Um, uh, he said, um, due to COVID-19 and et cetera, that that they were gonna have to let me go. Uh, and they said it wasn't because of performance issues and I hope it wasn't because I worked my butt off. It was because of COVID-19. <sighs> I'm gonna tell you, man, that was hard. I've never been fired from a job. I've never been laid off from a job ever. This was the first time it ever happened. And it was heartbreaking, man, because I really was thinking of, man, I wanna stay at this company for years to come. Like the, the culture is great, the people are great. And then to hear this, like, I guess you could say my heart kind of shattered because I just enjoyed working here. But as embarrassing as it is, man, I mean, during that call, I couldn't hold back to tears. Um, the whole time they were talking, I had my head down to my webcam. I didn't want to show my face. And then when they finally were finished speaking and it was my turn and I just asked some questions, I couldn't even speak, man. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't even speak. It was. It was. It was. It was tough. Um. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we ended the call. I just like this. Uh, this desk right here. I was just sitting on my desk right here after the call, head down on my hands, and I. I just. I still couldn't believe it happened. And actually, to this day, today's Saturday, Saturday night, 12 a.m., and I still can't believe. It happened. It just hasn't hit me yet because it's not Monday yet. Um, oh, but it's hard. It sucks, man. It sucks so much. It sucks because we were also told that it wouldn't happen.
we were told that we were told that we were safe pretty much literally just seven to ten days prior to thursday but yeah anyway um but what's really interesting dude so on a good note i want to share with you guys i went on to twitter this was literally 30 minutes after they told me the bad news and i said i've been let go today i don't know how to tell my parents who are depending on me if anyone's looking for a friend and developer with four years experience please let me know if possible, please retweet as well to help get this out. Thank you. And fortunately, this tweet, I guess you could say it went viral. It has up to this point right now, it has 4,500 retweets, 2,900 likes. I mean, it's been seen by at least 613,000 people. I've literally seen at least 50 direct messages. Um, as of this coming week, I have at least three interviews coming out. Um, although the, the, they're good, they're not exactly promising. Although I'm glad that this tweet helped me out to at least get some interviews, even though I don't think it'll happen. Um, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> Thank you, Twitter. If you guys know anything, your company positions remote, Vegas, California, wherever, they're hiring. If you could hit me up, man, hit me up in my email, direct message me. That'd be great. <laughs> I would appreciate the help. Um, but I want you guys to know, I know there are a lot of developers. I know a lot, I know quite a few friends who got let go too, um, that this is impacting everyone. I mean, no one's safe from this. No, there are some companies who are, and you're very fortunate. And I thought I was one of them, but I wasn't. So what's gonna happen? What am I planning on doing for the next couple months? I mean, if, if I get these jobs, I'm gonna take it right away. I don't wanna stop coding. I literally breed code. I love code. It's my life. Uh, but if that doesn't work out, um, I have some friends who literally live off going from contract to contract jobs, and I might do that. Try to have my own like handful of recruiters I work with where I can just be a contract worker for multiple companies and make a living that way. You get paid actually a lot more doing that anyway, despite the fact you don't, don't get sick days of paid time off, but I don't really care about that. So what I'll do starting next week is just build a sick ass portfolio. I'm gonna get way better at React JS. I'm gonna learn Node.js. I'm gonna get better at PHP Laravel. I was thinking maybe I can just game as much as I want for the next one or two months, but I don't wanna do that. Literally, what I'm gonna do now from like Monday to Friday, from 10.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m., that's schedule. I'm just gonna code like usual, like normal. Fortunately, I got to keep my MacBook Pro. I'm gonna learn multiple languages, but not even just that, I'm gonna get good at them. I'm gonna build things that even tutorials won't teach you. I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm gonna go crazy on my Discord channel. If you haven't joined it, join, join there. I'm gonna ask a lot of questions from other more experienced developers on how to build something. I'm excited. And more than that too though, I'm not gonna lie, man. Because I'm laid off, I, what I'm literally gonna be doing now for the next couple months is just filming myself, like just my journey from being laid off and trying to get another job. Um, hopefully remote, right? From really being a developer, from a mid-level developer um, with X amount of skills, but now I'm gonna learn brand new skills and get even better. And hopefully that will help me get a better job because I know this for a fact. My next job, 100% fact. I will get paid either just a little bit more or a lot more compared to my last one, which is crazy to think during these times. But I know because I have four years of experience, I know that this is 100% possible. And I know for all the other developers out there, if you've been laid off, let us know in the comments below. Like, it is very possible. There are so many open, like it's crazy. I'm looking literally around the country and I see so many positions that are available right now. Job posts that were made literally just a couple days ago or a week or two weeks ago that are available and people are hiring right now. I don't know how long this video is. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see the time on my on my camera. But yeah, man, this happened to me. It sucks, dude. This is the beginning to something even better and bigger. Even though I'm scared, at the same time, I'm very calm. And I know that, pff, let's move on, man. Move on to a better company, better pay, better life, and better everything. Anyway, new videos, man. Since I literally have nothing to do anymore, I have nothing but time for just to make as many videos as possible for you guys while just literally improving myself as a developer. So if you want to see that, if you want to see this journey of where I'm going as a developer, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to help me out. Give a like too if you can on this video. Please, a like and a comment um, to help this video go out to more people who probably got laid off too. And hopefully this video can help them as well, man. But anyway, this is Krishan, and this is the life of a laid off developer. And I'm out. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace.